from the Common English Bible. The Lord God commanded the human, eat your fill of all of the garden's trees, but don't eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, because on the day you eat from it, you will die. From the New Living Translation. But the Lord God warned them, You may freely eat the fruit of every tree in the garden except the tree of, of the knowledge of good and evil. If you eat its fruit, you are surely to die. from the message God commanded the man you can eat from any tree in the garden except from the tree of knowledge of good and evil don't eat from it the moment you eat from that tree you're dead Amen. Amen. So we're continuing to use our Renew My Heart, um, our, our devotional book. And the one for today is entitled Rebellion and Paradise. Man was made in the image of God, yet he was not made immutable, unchangeable. This would have been inconsistent with that state of trial in which God was pleased to place him. He therefore created that he therefore created able to stand yet liable to fall. God himself informed Adam of this and gave him a solemn warning about it. Nevertheless, he did not abide in honor. He fell from his high estate. He ate of the tree which God had commanded him you shall not eat thereof. But this willful act of disobedience, this flat rebellion against his sovereign, Adam openly declared that he would no longer have God rule over him. He would be governed by his own will and not the will of the one who had created him. He would not seek his happiness in God, but in the world. Now God had told him before, in the day you eat of that fruit, you shall surely die. And the, world of, the word of the Lord cannot be broken. Accordingly, in that day, he did die. He died to God, the most dreadful of all deaths. deaths. He lost the life of God separated from the one in union with whom spiritual life consists. The body dies when it's separated from the soul. The soul, when separated from God, Adam sustained this separation in the very hour he disobeyed. Hmm. Some uh, pretty strong words. From Wesley this morning. But, you know, um, we're in that, that we're in this, this middle of, um, John Wesley's sermon on um, on becoming uh, being made in the image of God and the 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 thought of new birth and how we need to be born again and I really think um, this scripture speaks to that 
um, because in in um, the human one or Adam's uh, disobeying and eating of the tree of the fruit of fruit of knowledge, there did there did become death among uh, among humankind, and this is what we call original sin. And we know that if we are not in right relationship with God, that we will die and that death will be um, eternal. But the good thing is, is that through a belief in Jesus Christ, through the way that we live, we can be born again by the Spirit into eternal life. And through that, we will never die. Sure, we may die here on earth, but our souls won't die. And I think that is the important thing that we can we can take from this text is that even though we even though we when I say we humankind decided to sin against God, there is a path back to restoring that relationship wholly. And that path was paid by the death of Jesus on the cross and our faith and our belief in those actions in that saving grace of Christ actions. So anyway, that's uh, that's that's my my ramblings here on this Wednesday morning. Would love to hear if you've contemplated that and uh, and uh, would love to hear your thoughts on it. So drop us a line there in the comment box. And uh, if this uh, devotion has spoken to you, if you found it enjoyable, I invite you to hit that like and share key there on Facebook so that others can also hear it. Uh, but for now, um, let's close with a word of prayer as we get ready to take on um, this kind of sunny but hazy day. Hazy because of those wildfires up in Canada. It's amazing how far uh, smoke haze can travel. So let's, uh, let's close with a word of prayer. Gracious God, we, we thank you for the dawning of a new day. We thank you for the sun shining and just the ability to, to live life here on earth. God, we ask that you, you inspire and guide us to be the people that you want us to be, that you help us see those places where you're active in our lives and those places where we can point out that activity, where we see you to others so that they can also share in the greatness that you are. God, we ask that you be with all of those who are suffering today, whether they're suffering from physical or mental illnesses or whether they're grieving the loss of a loved one. God, sometimes life throws things that are super hard at us and we struggle with understanding the why. But God, we also know that through whatever we're facing in life, that you're there with us, that you're there to support us, and to make us feel loved. And you make us feel loved by those who are around us. So God, we ask that you surround us with people who love us and you allow us to surround other people so that they know they're loved as well. God, we ask for all of these things in Jesus's mighty and precious name, amen. Well, friends, remember that this is a day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Go in peace, y'all. Bye for now.